All right, Gennady Golovkin, uh, Triple G fans, are you excited? Are, it, it is uh, pre-fight night. What is today? What is today? Friday. Yeah, Friday. Here we are, Friday. Tomorrow, the day we've all been waiting for. Now, it's not a Canelo Gennady Golovkin trilogy, but it's Gennady Golovkin, right? You know, so look, I'm excited. There's going to be nothing negative in my video today, just positive uh, vibes coming from your buddy Counter Punch Boxing, right? The Count. You know what? I'm going to start a YouTube channel called The Count. That's kind of cool, right? But here we are. Gennady Golovkin, Sergey Darby, and Checo. Now, I'd, I'd, let, me, let, me, let me explain. I would planned on making like two videos a day, right? I was going to do like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and make like 12 videos. But I'm working on this project, and it's taking like 12 hours a day, so I haven't had time. So I had a choice today, and I had choice A was, you know, make a really you know, crappy prediction video like you're, like you're watching now, or B, you know, kill myself, stay up till one, two o'clock in the morning, do research like I always do, and, you know, break it down and blah, 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 blah. I said, you know what, forget it. I said, look, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to just give you my prediction right off the top of my head. Then we're going to hop over to, uh, you know, the news, right? We're going to jump over the news and read the headlines because, you know, it's like, but look, boxing media has is just becoming a joke. Now, it, it's, it's like 90% click bait 10 percent other i don't even know i don't even know i don't even know how to label it nowadays so but we're gonna check it out we're gonna check it out. so here's what i think here's what i think okay first of all like i mentioned before you know we're watching gennady golovkin because we want to see did he get old has he improved uh what does he look like under under jonathan banks you know, is he going to go to the body? Is he going to, you know, work behind the jab? Blah, 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 all that. Yes, I think we're going to see vintage Gennady Golovkin. Um, and I think we're going to get a knockout. You know, I'll give it to you right at That way you guys can click off and you don't have to bat or listen to me babble over the next 10 minutes. But, you know, I believe, yes, we're going to get a lay round, a lay round stoppage. But is it going to be to the body? I don't know. You know, I thought about that. You know, I mean, he's a little bit shorter, so he might have them elbows tucked, right? Elbows tucked, you know, most likely. Um, but, you know, Gennady Golovkin taking a lot of criticism for not, not throwing uh, hardly any body shots against Canelo. It was like 9 or 10, I believe, against Canelo. So, you know, maybe, you know, you know just to kind of redeem himself. But I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, if it's there, he'll take it. But I believe he wants a sensational knockout, you know, to get himself in line for a Canelo trilogy. Now, <laughs> who wants to bet? How many of you want to bet me that Canelo Alvarez is going to pretend like he's not watching tomorrow, right? Because we all know... This should be Canelo Gennady Golovkin, but Canelo took off running, right? Like like a little road runner, just little, little legs going a million miles an hour, just took off running. You know, lost the IBF, took off running. I mean, ducked Gennady Golovkin about his... Look, this was the duck of the decade, right? The duck of the decade. That, that is... Look, I'm, I'm going to patent that. The duck of the decade goes to... Canelo Alvarez, because he ducked the hell out of Gennady Golovkin. I mean, he, look, he offered... He tells the zone, uh, look, I'll take a pay cut. Okay, no, 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 no. Uh, well, I promise I'll fight Demetrius Andre to my next fight. If you, know, if you let me just, you know, do what I want to do. So what does he do? He goes after Sergey Kovalev, right? I mean, because, you know, on, on the surface, it looks, it looks incredibly dangerous. I think it is. You think it isn't. We'll see, right? We'll see who's right, who's wrong. But, uh, you know, that's what he did. He ducked him. It's, 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 I mean, plain and simple. But anyway, back, back to the prediction. Told you I'm going to be all over the damn place. Uh, <laughs> the prediction. I, I really think Golovkin's going to make a statement. You know, uh, this. Uh, come on. I mean, C S Sergey. Who? Sergey. I mean, seriously. In all honesty, in your heart of hearts, how many of you out there are actually fans or or have followed the career, like actively followed? I'm not. I'm not talking about some pop up on Facebook or Twitter. How many of you have actually followed? And, and no, I don't mean any disrespect to Sergey. You know, whatever. Hell of a guy. Ton of respect. All that. But 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 it's you know it's a fact. It's a fact. I mean. You know, that, that's my point. I mean, we really don't know who this guy is. Sergey who? That's what I say. Sergey who? Here, look, I'm going to check him out on BoxRec real quick. 13-1-0. Okay, 13-1-0. Now, one thing I noticed, how old is the dude? Like, it doesn't say it on box. Oh, no, 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 no. He's actually 33. Okay, I thought he was a little older. Okay, he's 33. So he, But he ain't no spring chicken. In boxing, 33, you know, hey. And, uh, you know, he's got a good amateur background, whatever. But I'm looking at the resume here. Jack Kulke, unanimous decision. Okay, 
Jacobs, we know he lost, right? Uh, Johnson, or let's see. Oh, look at this. So before that, though, he's got one, two, three, four, five, so six, four, no, five TKOs in a row. Damn. But, you know, he's fighting a guy that was 10 and 0, another guy that was 20, 20 and 1, another guy 44 and 13. Like, shit. Like, that's, you know, so, you know, whatever, fighting 10 rounders. But again, his second shot at the IBF title, right? Even against Daniel Jacobs. I mean, how does that happen? Is It's essentially back to back title shots. And we're not talking about, you know, IBO, whatever. We're talking about the, you know, the big four WBA, WBC, IBO, IBF right? Our WBA, WBC, IBF, and then WBO. Did I say it? Yeah, I said that. So, we're, th look, this is, a, this is a big title, okay? And to have two shots at it, like, within a year, because he had a shot in, uh, in October 2018, right, for the IBF. The, 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 uh, the, back then it was uh, the vacant? I think it was yeah, vacant, I believe. And then now, again, vacant because, because uh, Canelo was stripped, right? They took that shit from Canelo, right? <laughs> so, but yeah, so to the fight, like I said, I think Gennady Glove, he's going to work the jab. We know. We already know. We know what's going to happen. He'll work the jab. He's going to knock him out. Out. what round nine i'm gonna say nine maybe ten it's gonna be nine or ten now what is the wild card the wild card is we are all underestimating this dude and it's gonna go 12 rounds because that's it i i, I don't think we're gonna get a knockout here okay I, I i just don't see it so but you know he's won 10 of his 13 fights oh shit somebody's calling hold up hold up uh decline decline who the hell's calling me but I don't think he's going to look, I, there's no way this guy, I can't say there's no way, but it's highly unlikely he's going to catch Gennady Golovkin with something, you know, that, that's going to knock him out. So <clears throat> I, I just don't see him getting, you know, or I don't see him hurting Golovkin, not even hurting him. I mean, Golovkin has a incredible chin, but look at this, look at these headlines. Gennady Golovkin, uh, uh, oh, actually right there, right there. Those are some good predictions I'm going to go over, but quickly, let me read this. Gennady Golovkin rips, I mean, here, don't you love it? The clickbait rips Canelo Alvarez says a third fight will eventually happen. Uh, dun, 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 right? They need like some music behind that. You know, <laughs> Golovkin versus Darby Chair said fighters make weight in New York. Yes, of course they made weight. Um, fight person. Oh wow, fifteen million dollars. Didn't know that. Boxing odds. No, I don't want to click on that. Uh, Darby and Checo earning more than Gennady Golovkin. Then see, hang on with it. Boxing scene. Darby and Checo earning more for Triple G than what Canelo offered. Huh? Okay. 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 Uh, well, that's good. Good. Hey, good for him, right? Good for uh, Sergey. He's making more fighting Gennady Golovkin than he would against Canelo. So good for you. Golovkin not looking his age as he prepa prepares for Darby and Checo. According to his coach, he said Gennady Golovkin can, can uh, fight till he's 70, right? Okay. Gennady Golovkin stunner looms if he's Gennady Golovkin stunner looms if he's thinking about Canelo Alvarez. I mean, you know, you get it, right? It's it's everything is Golovkin Canelo, Golovkin Canelo. And I'll, I'll tell you why. I'll give you an inside secret with the boxing media. It's not a big secret, but I mean, you probably figured it out. Is it's hard. It's hard to make it. And look, this is a very competitive, tough business, and. If you want to make it, you have to put out headlines like this. You have to put out articles and stories like this, or you're irrelevant. I mean, I've, I've tried. I've tried making videos about, you know, anything. You take any meaningful fight that everyone should be excited about, and it gets very little traction. So I do understand why people, you know, why the media, you know, um, you know they, they, they fall for it. You know, you have to. Like I said, you have to if you want to stay relevant, if you want to stay relevant. So... But let me click back over here. But yeah, getting back to my prediction, like I said, I think we're going to see probably the Gennady Golovkin we saw against Daniel Jacobs. You know, I think um, he's going to work behind the jab, of course. I think he's going to go to the body and uh, eventually knock him out. But I was thinking about that crazy knockout against Varnes Mighty Rosen. Remember that? It was like this, this like switch stance, kind of left, left hand, weird, weird ass knockout. You know, I don't think we're going to see that. I think it's going to be their traditional, that, that looping hook, like top of the dome, that dome shot that Golovkin does. Like when, you know, I think uh, Darby and Checo is going to be up against the ropes probably. And uh, Golovkin's going to come in. You know what I'm talking about, how he goes, almost like Marcus Maidana did, how he, would he wouldn't throw his punches like, you know, right down down the middle or like a hook it's almost like this weird over the top you know hook I don't even know what you call it it's got this weird arch but he does that I know why he does it 
he does it. It's like that kinetic energy, you know, it's kinetic energy. He does it. He'll twist his hips. He'll put all his body, all his momentum into it. And then he'll come down on it with the force of his body weight and all the muscle in his wrists, his elbows, arms, that kinetic energy. And it, it creates a very powerful punch, you know, and given, you know, you, you take that given the fact that he's, you know, just been given a, a gift from God. I mean, he's incredibly powerful. So you take the natural God gifted power along with the technique and nobody can stand that. And how Canelo withstood it is beyond me. Now, I also told you guys, Jonathan Banks, you know, he was talking a little bit of garbage about Gennady Golovkin. He was saying something, I'm going to paraphrase how, you know, the way Golovkin looked before he came along, he would have lost against uh, the trilogy against Canelo, is what he was saying. You know, it was really, honestly, is like a slap in the face to uh, Abel Sanchez, but he was saying, yeah, you know, look, before I came along, Golovkin, you know, that Golovkin would definitely, definitely lose, but now, it's easy work. We got it. It's easy work. I mean, according to him, they got the blueprint, right? They got the master plan, the blueprint. All they need is a date, you know, so uh, we'll see. We'll see. But like I said, what the, the, the telltale sign is going to be what happens tomorrow night because he needs to look good. Not good, but sensational. This cannot be some mediocre performance, some, you know, 12 round boring ass fight. We need a sensational knockout. You know, Golovkin needs to get in there and then and this is crucial. After he gets the knockout, okay, the zone, he's got microphones like shoved in his face. He needs to, to say, I want Canelo Alvarez. You know, uh, sorry, I had the trilogy planned out. Canelo was ducking me. I mean, that's what Golovkin needs to do, right? And, and I, but I know what he's going to do. I, we know he's, he's going to say, oh, well, yeah, I got a lot of good guys lined up. I got a lot of good opportunities because, of course, I'm going to be like, oh, no, Gennady Golovkin, what's next? You know, where do you go from here, Gennady Golovkin? Oh, well, uh, you know, I got a lot of, you know, great opportunities out there. And it's, uh, you know, uh, I'm a boxer. It's not up to me. We're going to get that, that line. But I, um, ho look, I hope I'm wrong. Hopefully I'm wrong. And he says, no, nah, I want Canelo Alvarez. It's going to happen. And wouldn't that be awesome? Like if Canelo got in the ring. Now, come on now. Tell me that wouldn't be awesome. Like, because remember, originally Gennady Golovkin got in the ring after the Canelo fight. Was it, uh, was it Chavez? I believe I can't remember what fight it was, but he got in the ring and there we go. It was on. We knew it was, it, it was official. It was going to happen. And then it came to a draw, which was one of the biggest robberies in boxing. Okay. We all know Gennady Golovkin won, not, not one, but both fights. Okay. So, you know, that would be cool if, if they did that. If, if they brought Canelo in, you know, a little, little face off, you know, a little, you know, kind of making eyes, whatever, you know, a little, little chest pump, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They need, that's what we need. We need something like that. Cause all this, like he said, she said back and forth shit on Twitter and whatever. It's for the birds. It's for the birds. Right. You know, so, but I doubt that's going to happen. So at a minimum, at a minimum, he needs to at least call Canelo out, okay? Now, what's going to happen if he loses? I, I just stopped myself in my head. Uh, in my head, I go, wait a minute, dude. Like, what if he loses? Like, you're acting like this shit. Like, it's already over. Like, you know, like you have some, like, magic ball and you know the future because it's not a guarantee he wins. What if he underestimated Sergey Darvianchenko? What if he didn't train properly? What if he has, you know, what, what if, what, what if he gets old overnight, right? What if, what if, like, wow, well... That's for another video. <laughs> that's for another video, right? You know, but I highly doubt. I, look, I don't think that's going to happen, guys. I think we're going to get the, you know, the vintage, classic, traditional Gennady Golovkin. And uh, he's got to look good. He's got to look good. And he says he's going to bring a new style. But then they talk about, oh, yeah, he's going to bring a new style. But then they turn around and say, but we're not going to change anything. You know, Golovkin is Golovkin. We're not changing anything. But tune in for the new style. Huh? What? Okay, so wait a minute. Back up, back up, back up. You're not changing anything, but tune in to see the change. You know, so what? Is, anyway, I think a lot of questions will be answered, right? It would, and, and that's why I'm watching. I'm tuning in. I want to see the jab, the body work, you know, the breathing, the stamina. I want to see what happens after the fight. I want Golovkin to be vocal about where he's at. Because here's the thing. Let me end it here. It's like these guys, they don't have a problem talking, you know, talking all kinds of crap on Twitter and Facebook and blah, 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 blah. do it, do it live. Okay. Do it after you made a statement. That's, that's when it, it has the most impact. That's when it's the most powerful is when you're in that situation. So hopefully, 
hopefully, you know, we get that. But if not, whatever. You know, I even told you guys, look, close the Canelo door. Who cares? He beat him twice. You know, we're, we're going to move on. We're going to move on. But, you know, whatever. I guess secretly, I don't really feel that way because I, I, I want vengeance. I want revenge. I want vindication because I know Gennady Golov can beat him. And I think if, if they can fight early 2020, you know, especially, you know, I think Canelo's going to take a lot of damage in that Kovalev fight. So, it, you know, hey. It might even the playing field, you know, a damaged Canelo and an aging Gennady Golovkin. It might make for a better fight. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see. But, you know, um, it, it's look, boxing is crazy. You never know what the hell is going to happen. And uh, that's why I'm tuning in. But I do have one last issue. I got rid of the zone, <laughs> my app. So I'm going to have to re-up my app. And I'm probably just going to pay for the year, the $99, so whatever. Just go ahead and do it because, uh, you know, we got a lot of good things coming up. So. I might do that because I'm damn sure not paying $20 a month. That's way too much, I think, for, you know, for a boxing app, in my opinion. You know, and when I get off here, I'm about to hop on Netflix and watch, this, you know, all my shows I've been watching, so, which I pay $12 a month for. So I can get Netflix for $12 a month, but you want me to pay $20 a month for, for a boxing app? No, nah, no, no, sorry. So, but, you know, when you pay the 100 it at least breaks it down, you know, monthly. So if you guys are, you know, serious about getting the app, and you have the money and you're able to do that, then I would just go ahead and pay for the whole year because you will, you know, you're going to get your money's worth. You really are. You, you know, you got Anthony Joshua, Gennady Golovkin, Canelo, if you're a Canelo fan, you know, there's a lot of, a lot, a lot of good fights on there. One pay-per-view is what, 70, 80, $90. So it's worth the 89, 99 or whatever it is, you know, for the 12 months. So, but anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. What do you think? Leave it below.